Hey guys, this is Greg, and I am going to give you a quick uh, review of the uh, controls and a couple features of the new John Deere E120 lawn tractor. I just purchased this uh, less than a month ago, so I've used it, uh, you know, uh, three, four times now. Very happy with it, and uh, just going to show you a couple of things on the tractor. Might make, uh, might be useful for you when uh, taking a look at it or shopping for it. It comes with the 20 horsepower V-twin uh, engine in it, which uh, should be very nice. I've, uh, it's been very smooth and uh, no problems uh, mowing. Uh, this year they are supposedly have a new and improved battery in this, uh, and uh, I've not had any problems uh, starting uh, the tractor whatsoever. So, um, you know, seems like that's working. Uh, one of the other new features, it's a big feature, <laughs> is the uh, new oil change system. It's the, I think they call it the new easy change uh, oil system. There's no more draining the oil in the, uh, in the tractor anymore now. You simply remove that filter and screw on a new filter. And um, it's supposed to remove the contaminants at the same time, put you know, a little less than another quart of oil in the machine. So um, I'm at uh, nine hours. Uh, and I think the uh, I'm supposed to have changed at an eight, but uh, I'm going to do that today in a subsequent video and see if it's as easy as they make it out to be. Um, the only downside of that is I think they charge you an arm and a leg for it, but um, if it's done in 30 seconds or less, uh, there's, I think there's something to be said for that. But um, looking around at the rest of the mower, it's got the 42 inch deck, uh, which I like. Uh, gives the uh, lawn a nice cut. Um, over here, you've got the uh, mower height so you can change uh, your height anywhere from one inch two inch three inch all the way up to four inches and uh, this was re redesigned this year and it's supposed to be very easy I did not have a previous model but I can tell you changing the deck height on this model is very easy so um, that is nice um, the uh, seat is a 15 inch seat which is really nice it's really comfy and soft uh, I've got low back problems and um, you know I don't have any difficulties or any pain on riding this mower even for a couple hours so um, that's a nice thing it can be adjusted uh, from this side here this lever right here will allow you to move the seat forward and back um, it also comes up and that's where your gas tank is uh, real easy to fill that up over here you've got a cup and a compartment that closes. I usually throw my cell phone and keys or whatever in there. It's nice. Um, if you go over to the controls of the machine, you've got your steering wheel, you've got your throttle control here with the uh, rabbit and the turtle. You've got your button for reverse. And I'll show you how that works. You've got your PTO lever here to engage the blades. And you've got your hour meter here. As you can see, I'm at nine hours, and uh, at eight hours, I was supposed to have changed the oil on this, and uh, I'm gonna do that today. Uh, over here, you've got your pedals, which is another improvement this year. They've got the both pedals on the same side which is nice so if you press the first pedal the larger pedal that'll take you forward and if you press the other pedal that'll go in reverse but you do have to do that press this yellow button and that reverse pedal to go in reverse so um, you can do that you've also got your brake over here so right now I have it locked with this here so if you press this and push this down you will unlock the brake and if you just press this you got the brake on but then you can lock it by pulling that up and just note you have to have the brake on or locked for the tractor to start so just keep that in mind one other safety feature about the uh, chair that I mentioned when you get if you come off of this while the machine is running, the machine will turn off. 
um, and you might even get a backfire if you had it at full speed and it just shuts off. It is a nice safety feature. I'm sure it's not new, but I have jumped off the machine before uh, to go grab something and forgetting that I have to uh, lock the brake or turn it off and the engine will shut down. So um, it does work. It is a nice safety feature in the event you were to have an accident. Um, here's one more feature. Um, here's your gas gauge. Um, so top is full and if it's down at the bottom it's uh, close to empty. As you can see I have a full tank of gas here. but. Um, I would like to see a gauge or a dial or something on the control, on the, where the main controls are, but um, you know, uh, this works too. It's not a deal breaker by any means. Um, here you can see the uh, 42 inch deck. Um, this has the uh, hose connect on it, so if you want to wash out your deck after you've mowed your lawn, you just connect your hose to this here and uh, start, start up the tractor and turn on your PTO uh, lever and engage the blades run that water through there at high speed and and make sure the mower's on at high speed and the blades and uh, you should be able to clean out your deck pretty good that way. One more thing I wanted to show you um, is the um, pin in the back here which I've pulled out will allow the tractor if I didn't have the brake on to roll forward and back it's nice if you have it in the garage or something and you just want to move it without starting the machine up, you can uh, just push it back and forth as long as you don't have the brake on. But uh, as soon as I push this pin in, now the transmission is engaged and uh, you can't roll this thing around anymore. But um, And I, I rarely ever have the pin out, but sometimes it's nice when you're in the garage and you just want to move it a couple feet or whatever and you don't want to have to start this thing up, you just pull that pin out. So. That's how that works. The uh, You'll notice I have the bagger on it. I like to bag my grass. I will say that it works well. I did not even put on the high lift blades, which, they, which comes with the bagger, and it still does a good job. I'm sure the high lift blades do even better job, but um, I didn't feel like changing the blades, and it works just fine. I will warn you that um, it's, it's kind of a pain in the you-know-what to get this, this on. There's some pins that you need to get in, and it has to line up just right. And um, you know, it just wasn't fun to do. But uh, I don't know. Uh, I got it done, and uh, I'm happy with how it works. Uh, like I said, I did not attach the high lift blades, and I'm using the blades that came with the the tractor, and it works just fine. Lifting this guy up here, you can see the two bags. Uh, it's hard to do with one hand, but they hook on right here and you just pull it off and hook it back on you just put it right back on so it's really easy it's nice to uh, you know easily take your bag and empty it and um, just close it back up it's got a little see-through lid here but um, usually I just look back and tap the bag and see how full it is to know when to uh, empty it it's got these it's got this uh, kind of system here that attached on to the back here and then you got a couple pieces that lock in to the back of the uh, tractor so um, that's pretty much it uh, oh there's one more um, there's a cruise control on this guy if you have any long straightaways on your property it's probably a nice feature to use I don't have anywhere really that I use this for, um, but I imagine it would be nice if you were going on long, long stretches to uh, lock that cruise control, uh, but I don't use it. Um, but it's a nice feature to have. But um, that's pretty much it on the uh, new John Deere E120. Uh, it is a nice, affordable lawn tractor for residential use. Uh, I'm happy with it, and I um, hope this video helps you out. If uh, you enjoyed this video, give me a like and uh, subscribe. Thank you very much.